afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Atlanta Braves and the San Francisco Giants. San Francisco find themselves on a five game skid. They'll try to get back on track next. Kevin Gossman is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey this guy's a fun guy to watch pitch not necessarily an overpowering guy has an ERA in the low threes but one thing he knows how to do he knows how to pitch and he knows how to minimize damage. If you're going to have an ERA in the low threes in this day and age you're doing a lot of things right and this guy should be fun to watch in this one. And that'll bring in the former top prospect Ozzie Albies and we are ready for some daytime baseball. First pitch hack in here and that's the first strike. Danny Dero this Giants team as they begin play here this afternoon they come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five game slide behind Owen two now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. He pulls this one into right. Slater is there to put it away for route number one. That is tough. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Drilled on the ground to short. He's got it. There's one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Now it'll be the Giants' turn, no score. Max Freed gets the ball for Atlanta in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? It's pretty easy to see why this guy is one of the top pitchers in all of baseball. He has a ridiculously good whip. How about under .5 on the season? Do you have any idea how hard that is to do that? He's nearly impossible to reach base on. He doesn't walk hardly anybody, and he's awfully tough to get a hit off of. One of the best pitchers in the game of baseball. Donovan Solano is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Guys, one of D-Rose former employers, the Braves, as they begin play here this afternoon. They've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah, Matty, this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around the clubhouse and takes stock. Six in a row, you have a chance to rattle off a seventh. You start saying, hey, maybe something special is going to happen this summer. After falling down 0-2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. And the pitch. Popped up. Freeman in foul ground. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Under it is Ozuna, and there are two gone now. Batting first, the first baseman, Brandon Bell. Stepping in, Brandon Belt. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. 
Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, D. Rose, not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. Protecting with two strikes, one out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Two out, nobody on. And another foul ball. The 0 2 once more. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Giants come up empty in the first. We'll go to the second. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit sharply on the ground. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. The catcher, Travis Darno. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. First delivery to him on the way. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitter's meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. Dickerson is there, two gone. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Hey, watch out. This hitter's got one thing on his mind. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Braves are set down 1-2-3. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning now, and into bat next it'll be Alex Dickerson. The center fielder, Alex Dickerson. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0-1. Yank fouled off to the right. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. He's just got great strikeout stuff. In his last start, he racked up double-digit Ks, and it looks the like he could finish up in that range Real again here. He's really an Real exciting bad. pitcher to watch when he's sending guys packing like this. At the plate now, Wilmer Flores. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. In his career versus this pitcher, two hits in seven tries. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Pretty unusual that you see a 5-hole hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to the plate. Then it goes to first, and it's not in time. And this is just a mental lapse right there. I know your catcher is good with the glove, but you simply can't throw home in this instant. Take the easy out, always. 
In is the third baseman Evan Longoria and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at one and one. Runner goes for second he swings and misses throw down. It skips in and he's safe. Close play but he's in there. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak. So when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that. So we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. Here's a pop-up now. Riley has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone. But maybe he tried to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back. And the pitcher, he just dodged a bullet. From the stretch, Buster Posey is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Comes set, the 0-1. One ball, one strike. Now a swing and a fly ball. And foul. Flores stands at second with two gone. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. One and two count. Here's the pitch. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Giants leave one, will move to the third with no score. So striding forward now, Adam Duvall. He went deep last night twice. Adam First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. So one gun in the inning now, and it's time to check out the standings in the National League West as you take a look at where the Giants find themselves entering play here today. The next to bat for Atlanta, Austin Riley. And you can see great numbers over the past few games. At third, Longoria. Throw in time at first for out number two. Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball is the result. Coming to the plate now, Max Breed. First delivery to him on the way. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Slater's under it. And that ends the inning. Down in order go the Braves. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Stepping up. First pitch coming. Here it is. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Fouled off. Here it comes on nothing and two. Oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first out of the inning. So one gone in the inning now as we get a look there at the standings in the NL East as you see where the Braves find themselves entering play. Coming to the plate now, Kevin Gossman as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one.
Giants are still searching for their first hit of the ball game. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. A ball and two strikes to the Giants pitcher. Swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He no looks batter, really batter. sharp out there, guys. Standing in, Donovan Solano. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Rounded up the first baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Another one sent foul. He'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit hard up the middle. And that's the first hit in this one for the Giants. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. So that brings up the outfielder Austin Slater as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Hey with first base open pitchers definitely going to nibble and try and see if the hitter expands his own and it's fouled away. Two out here and a runner at second. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Ozzie Albies. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. No balls and a strike to count. Now here's the pitch. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Another 0 2 home. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Dickerson's going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The batter, number seven, shortstop. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. First offering on its way. Hard hit ball to second. Flores has it. And there's out number two. 
the first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. Into the box now, Freddie Freeman. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there a little bit too far out in front got to find a way to keep his hands back and he'll step out and ask for time maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now can't quite get the low outside corner there it's one and two holy smokes that's the first ball they've taken the entire game so far they're swinging at everything. Still one and two. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Again, another foul ball. Into center field, line drive base hit. So the two out hit keeps things alive for Marcelo Zuna. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward but I'm not betting against him. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive base hit. Hey, there's another base knock right there. A hitting streak now up to eight games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, eight games. Now, I mean, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting streak going. Travis Darno stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. The 0 1 offering. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Into the bleachers and gone. So a three run blast to straight away left number 10 for him on the year as the Braves have opened up a three nothing lead. Hey I know we're not sitting up here with a crystal ball but that swing right there although in the middle innings could be the deciding factor and we could be looking back at this one when it's all said and done. Acuna digs in now. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. A 1 1 home. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. No. Nope. To two balls and two strikes now. I got to count two and two. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. Is in there. A called strike three. But the Braves do pick up three on the strength of this three run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 3 0 Atlanta. Back alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as it'll be Brandon Belt getting ready to lead things off here. Here comes the first pitch. Out. 
Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, one and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. This is drilled, but right into the shift. And that's out number one. Now well, it's still early, but it's also here. worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Alex Dickerson. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Out in front of it, strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four now strikeouts back. in the that first two games. Back. So this Real pitching burn. staff clearly has him oh, figured man. out. to the plate now Wilmer Flores this will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game and the pitch one and one No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, there's not a lot you could do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Fouled off. He's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Giants are down one, two, three. They trail it here three to nothing. Stepping up now, Adam Duvall. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, 1-1. One one. one and two now as that one's fouled off. Here it comes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Slater moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now that the third baseman, Austin Riley. Now batting, Austin Riley. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a ball hit high in the air. Deep down the line in left. Hooking just a little. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one.
Well, it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday's game. He had two bombs yesterday and another one today. Hey, this pace can't continue, but he's going to ride this wave as long as he can. Into the box now, Max Breed. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Hit on the ground to third. Longoria's there. And there are two away now. The batter number one, second baseman, Ozzie Albee. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth, and that'll bring up Ozzie Albies. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. Four runs, five hits, and one error on the Atlanta line score. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations, and good hitters aren't going to miss. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Braves able to tack on another courtesy of the solo shot. On to the bottom of the fifth. It's now 4 0 Atlanta. And welcome back to San Francisco as we send it down to Heidi. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Giants lineup with their manager, Gabe Kapler, and he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind, so the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Okay, thank you, Heidi. The third baseman, Evan Rosoria. Here comes the first pitch. Evan Longoria started to go around, but it's a called strike, 0 and 1. And now the Giants are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. And Longoria swings right through that one as he's behind 0 and 2 now. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher. Able to pound his zone with all different options. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here. As we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he's off to a flying start. The NL's leader in that department here in the month of May. One away now. Here's the catcher, Buster Posey. He's ready. Here's the first offering. He's getting a lot of first pitch outs, and it's really easy to see why. He's been perfect. 100% of his first pitches have been for strikes to hitters so far in this one. Count now a ball and a strike. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. A ball and two strikes now. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. To first. Freeman's got it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now that no Get go. Robertson. In now, Daniel Robertson. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish, this A.B. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. Scooped up, throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. 
Giants down in order. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Caleb Berger takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 73, Caleb all set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Popped him up. Belt moving to his left. One out. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop up to start the inning. So the leadoff man's gone, and that'll bring in the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Lays off 1 0. Now, some action out in the Giants' bullpen as they'll have both the left hander and the right hander get loose. One out, nobody on. Now, a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Talk about certain guys in a lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. 3 and 0 now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Swinging on 3 and 0. Now three balls and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit on the ground to short. Reined in. In time to first, and there are two away. Here's Marcelo Zuna. One for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. Now here's the pitch. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. Two out, nobody on. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Well, this team, they're swinging at everything, but that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. The 1 1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And that ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. Braves lead this one 4 to nothing. Mike Yastrzemski is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the. Number five. Mike. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Comes into his first at bat at 283. Three homers and 15 RBIs. And here's a pitch high and tight for a ball. One and one. Chopper foul. The one two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. This pitching staff has done a really good the job against seven. this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Stepping in now, Donovan Solano. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land out there just foul. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. 
And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number two. The right fielder, number 13. Austin. Digging in once again, Austin Slater. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Giants are down one, two, three. They're down four, nothing. Trevor Cahill is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 53, Trevor Cahill. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He had that big three run homer in his last appearance. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0 and 1. And it's one and one. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The center field of the 13, Ronald Acuna Jr. At the plate, Ronald Acuna. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And it's gone into the arcade section. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 21 for him on the season. And the Braves have now opened up a 5-0 lead. That's what I love about baseball. The pitch before, he looked absolutely foolish. But they gathered himself, stayed with the plan, and the next pitch, he goes yard. Every pitch is another chance. Now right Into the box, Adam Duvall. Duvall. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Now that. Ready once again, Austin Riley. He went deep last time up. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Throw won't get him. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs where you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May, and he's on fire. d -Road, he's been locked in from day one of this season, and it's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. Max Breed stands in as he looks at a called strike. Ready with the 0-1. Big swing at the knuckle curve. Gets nothing but air. 0-2 now. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. 1-2 and two now to the Braves pitcher. The runners are at first and third. One away. Right 
And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. So up steps Ozzie Albies as he'll come up empty there as he misses the off speed pitch for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Braves able to tack on another courtesy of the solo shot. Get up and stretch. It's the Braves five, and the Giants nothing. Now to the plate, Brandon Belt. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. Here comes the Braves manager out as he'll take that slow walk toward the mound. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. Tired a bit as he reached the seventh, but he's got a shot at the victory if his bullpen can help him out. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. The pitch. Two and one. Count two one. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. On oh, a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat, and I like seeing fielder. that. Number he 12. showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the Dick strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. And that'll bring up the big bat of Alex Dickerson. Owen won the count. Now the pitch. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. And they still manage to get an out on the play. Whoa. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So two away now in the San Francisco seventh. And up next, the utility man, Wilmer Flores. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Two out, nobody on. Shin high, that's taken for a ball. Strike called, two and one. And got him to go down after that one, and it's two and two. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty changeup away. Is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Another try at 2 2. This is popped up. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Giants down in order. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 0.
Wait, Reyes Maranta has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do now so to start the eighth. Number 54. Reyes. Ready to begin the eighth and stepping up as the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. The shortstop, Dansby. First delivery to him on the way. High in the air down the right field line. Slater's under it. He's got it one away. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Green. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on its way. And a fastball's off the plate away. It's ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D. World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Dickerson is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Now batting the left fielder, Marcel Ozuna. So here's the cleanup hitter, Marcel Ozuna. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Here's the pitch. Yep, that ball went out. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Braves are set down one, two, three. But they hold a 5 nothing lead. Bottom of inning number 8 set to go. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Evan Longoria. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And he misses with it one and one. Two balls and a strike to Longoria. Unable to get the bat around in time and the count evens at two and two. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. And a half swing that time but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire and that'll be the first out of the inning. One gone here in the Giants half of the eighth and that brings up Buster Posey. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup and a good job of dropping it in for strike one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Stepping into the box, Daniel Robertson. He was a ground out victim last time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Ozuna is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Giants are down one, two, three. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit.
stepping in for the Braves, Travis Darno. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1 0 home is in there for strike one. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The 1 1 is a fastball that misses. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Now the three and two pitch. Oh, here's a shot out to right center. On his way to second is Darno. Digging hard. He's headed for third. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. Other than a home run, there aren't a whole lot of better ways to start an inning than a triple. Pretty good chance of at least getting one run in this inning now. At the plate, Ronald Acuna. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control. Oh, and two. That's why you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. One and one. Ugh, was that ugly? You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. The one two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now, three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. Good battle. Count remains full. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Swing and he pops him up. And no one will track it down. He'll try it again, three and two. Popped him up. Solano waits on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting. Stepping in, Austin Riley, runner in scoring position with Sugan. 
Here comes the first pitch. Count one and oh. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. And that's off the plate and high. 2-0 and oh now. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately. And it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's 2-1. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. And maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate, so he'll step out and ask for time. And now maybe a mind game or two going on down there as he steps out a second time in the A-B. And now here's the third time he's stepped out. Talk about breaking up a guy's rhythm. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Chadwick Trump will get up off the bench to lead off the home half of the ninth. And they've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so he'll just need to work on getting aboard. Cold strike on the corner. Good changeup that time. A little bit low that time, maybe outside as well. A ball and two strikes. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up. But as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. Donovan Solano is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. A ball and a strike to the Giants' leadoff man. One out, nobody on. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes to count. Line drive to center field. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the baseball season. Bottom line is this guy has bat to ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Standing in now, Austin Slater. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone. And then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bad head out. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Bell. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Last strike here for the Giants. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. 5 0, the final score today. The Braves took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. 
Max Fried earns his eighth victory of the season, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. A.J. Minter takes the rare three-inning save, his fourth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. For our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Five runs, eight hits, one error. They left four men on base. For the Giants, no runs on only two hits. No errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 46 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon, 41,915. The Giants thank you for attending today's game at Oracle Park and remind you to please drive home safely.